if there had been a game seven, would you have been available to play? No. Really? No, I was I was done pretty much. I mean, I was uh, I struggled to pull it through in that game, and uh, I suffered from it, still suffering from really? it. But uh, I wouldn't have played in a game seven. I just wasn't able to go. I mean, I knew on Saturday that. You know, I probably had one game left in me. And the start of that game, I got a dunk early in the game and got banged a little bit by Malone. And that really put me back on my heels throughout that whole game where I was running back in the locker room, cortisone, whatever kind of medication I could get in me, heat, pack, whatever, to try to carry on. But uh, I definitely was not able to uh, play a game seven. And, and you know the way it works with us in the media. When Michael Jordan would get sick in a playoff game, we make it seem like he came from his hospital bed yeah. with IV stuck in his arm. And it's he's in able the to have, and, <laughs> and he has these great accomplishments. But for you, that is pretty remarkable what you did. Again, I'm not saying you're doing it for people to give you credit, but do you feel that not enough was made of that moment? Because there you were playing hurt in a deciding game against well, a great Utah Jazz team. Here's my breakdown on that. I'm going to ask you this. All right. Is it easier to play with a herniated disc or to play with the flu? They always say the worst injury to have is a bad back. So, Well, I don't, I don't see many uh, bad back games, but I do see <laughs> flu games. Flu. Come on. 